Your money, your taxes, and the president's tax plan, the Senate passing it at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. There is no pressing deadline here, but Republicans in Congress are furiously working to get this done before Christmas, as the president has asked. But at what cost? With changes to the bill, handwritten even in the margins. And tonight here, a reality check. Who benefits most? ABC's Mary Bruce, back on the Hill for us. Tonight, Republicans are still relishing their late night victory on tax reform. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, as amended, is passed. While Democrats are wow. reeling, outraged over wow. what they say was a rushed Period. process. They're sending around their edits as we speak. Edits yeah. scribbled in the margins. Can you tell me what that word is? And now comes the hard part, hammering out the differences between the Senate and House versions. The bill is the most sweeping change to the nation's tax code in 30 years. Republicans are promising relief to the middle class, but most Americans earning less than $75,000 a year are projected to pay more over the next 10 years. While in 2027, one analysis says the top 1% would receive 62% of the benefit. For weeks, Republicans have been downplaying um, these estimates. Economic forecasting has been just about as accurate as those um, those late night psychic hotlines you see advertised after the Tonight Show. And there are serious questions about how to pay for all of this. Republicans insist economic growth will cover the cost of the plan, but two estimates say it will add a trillion dollars or more to the deficit over the next decade. Even a conservative estimate puts it at over $500 billion. This after Republicans have railed for years against adding to the deficit. We have to get our debt under control before we move any further down the road. You are confident this bill will pay for itself? Oh yeah, I think it will pay for itself. And then some, and if I'm wrong, like every other Republican, will pay a price. Mary Bruce live on the Hill for us tonight. And Mary, as you reported, Republicans say this plan will pay for itself. We just heard it from Senator Graham there, even though several analyses show it will not, including a nonpartisan congressional committee that Republicans have relied on before. That committee now says it will cost $1 trillion. And we're learning about the Republicans' efforts to discredit the committee they once turned to. David, Republicans have reportedly been circulating talking points that aim to undercut that estimate, questioning the timing and substance of that report. Republicans insist these numbers are simply not accurate. All right, well, the deadline far closer tonight than the tax plan is this possible government shutdown, Mary. Congress also working to avoid a shutdown by the end of this week. And you've learned tonight that Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi have now accepted an invitation to the White House after that meeting fell apart last week. David, last week, Democratic leaders canceled that meeting with the president after he tweeted that there was no deal to be made here. Now that meeting is back on for this Thursday. As for the looming deadline, Republican leaders insist there will be no shutdown. David. A very busy week ahead. Mary, thank you.